Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about Spring AI framework. So here you can see that Spring AI framework is been introduced by Spring team to leverage the capabilities of the AI. So yeah let's see what is included in the Spring AI and what we can do with the Spring AI. So this is just going to be an introduction video and we are going to see a demo as well. So stay tuned for that as well. So here you can see that Spring AI is an application framework for AI engineering. Its goal is to apply to the AI domain Spring ecosystem design principles. So in the AI, what we do is we connect to our different LLM models, different models available, right? So the Spring AI will help us to connect to all those models and it will convert all those different data, different types of data available in those different models to an POJO system. So we will be able to easily understand what data has been parsed and we can easily utilize those data in our spring application easily so currently these are the different chat models supported so there are a lot of models open ai azure open ai amazon bedrock google vertex gemini so you can see there are a lot of models available chat models there is a text to image models also available transcription models available embedding models so there are a lot of things available out of the box we just need to integrate those models with those api keys and everything within the configuration of the spring ai so once we add all those configurations in the spring boot application then we are good to use all those different models so we do not have to worry about how we are going to call those how we are going to transform those data everything we do not have to worry about anything we just integrate those models and start working on those models and spring will take care of each and everything about creating the pojos getting the data and everything so for the documentation part you can go through this spring ai page and you can go through each and everything what has been added here you can also go to learn section and learn more about this you can go to reference document and api documents to learn so what we are going to do is we are going to create a small application where we are going to use the spring ai in our spring boot project Project. So for that, we'll go to Spring Initializer and create our project. So I'm going to create the project in Java. Project is May 1 and with 3.2.5 version. Let me just add a group as com.daily code buffer. And let me just do Spring AI. Okay. Packaging would be my jar and Java version is 17. And this is going to be my Spring Boot project. Okay. And now if I search with AI, you can see that there are a lot of different AI dependencies available. That is Azure AI, Mistral AI, Stability AI, Azure Open AI and a lot more okay so whatever we discussed here there are a lot of things available here so once we add those dependency the same implementation of those ai models will be added and we just need to give the configurations so springs auto configuration will load each and everything for us and we should be good so currently i want to use open ai's chat model that is chat gpt model so for that what i'll do is i'll add open ai dependency so here you can see that spring ai support for chat gpt the ai language model and dali the image generation model from open ai so this is what i want to use it because for this particular model i have the api keys so whatever you have you can get the api keys for those llms and you can use it so let me just use this one and generate the project and open in intellij idea so the project is generated let me open here let me open in intellij idea so here you can see that your project is started and uh, if you go to your main resources java okay this is our application so let the dependency gets resolved here and then we can work on it meanwhile what we will do is we'll go to a browser and you can go to open ai settings okay so go to your open ai platform.openai.com and there what you can do is you can go to api keys and you can create your api keys here you can go to view user api keys and there you can create your keys so what i have done is i have created one api key here okay and this is the api key that i'm going to use you can create your own api key what i have done is alongside is i have also added my billing information so i have added five dollars to my account so that i am able to use this api to get the data if you're not adding the data then you will be not be able to call this api so for that reason i've added the five dollars for the sake of learning purpose now what I, would, I will do is i will have to use this key once this key is generated you have to make sure that you copy it at a safe place and also make sure that you don't commit this key to your git repository so here let me just create a controller so what i'll do i'll create a class and i'll say ai controller okay and i'll make sure that this is a rest controller okay and here i can create a method and i can take any prompt and i can take the messages input and i can take this is a request param okay let me just do return message for now and this is my get mapping so here you can see that this is a simple api that i've created okay on the hit of slash prompt by giving the message it is returning me the message now here what i want to do is i want to use the open ai's chat gpt model to call my apis so what i want to do is for using the chat gpt's model what i can use is i can use chat client so here you can see that this is a chat client it's part of the 
springframework.ai.chat and once I use this with the help of this I can call any AI model so if you go to this particular interface you can see that this is a chat client interface which is extending model client and it has a default method which is a call method which is taking a message here and there is also one more implementation call method which is taking a prompt generally whenever we are doing the AI calls we give the prompt and based on that prompt we get the data here also if you see whenever we are passing the message it converts that message into a prompt and then we are calling the generation call method to get the generation generated results and get the content from that generated result so currently this is the chat client and we have only added open AI right so there because of that we only have one implementation of the chat client that is the open AI chat client if you are adding another implementation that suppose you are adding Azure AI or you are adding Google Gemini then based on that particular dependency that implementation of that library will be added currently for open AI open AI is added and you can see you can go through the code and everything is available so you can go through this but yeah the main part is we are going to use chat client and call method to get the data so what we will do is we already have added chat client and what i will do is i will just add chat client dot call and i'll pass the message you can see that how simple it was right just using the call method and whatever the message i want to pass which is a prompt based on that it will give me the data now one thing we have to add is which particular open ai model we are going to use and what is the api key so that particular information we can add in the application.properties file. So let's add that as well. So one of the property that we need to add is the spring.ai.openai.api key. Okay. So this is the key that we have to add. And we need to also add spring AI open AI chat options model. So which model that we want to use. So API key is something you can directly take here. So what is the secret key which you ever was generated here? we can use this here as our API key okay and model so for model what we can do is we can go to the documentation and we can go to models and here you can see that there are different models available right so whichever model we want to use we can use those model and we can add it so suppose if I want to use chat GPT 3.5 turbo so I can just copy it and I can add in my model so this is the model that i'm going to use api key i will add it okay so i have already added my api key in the properties file and the model that we want to use so now what we can do is we can just directly start our application so let me just go to the spring ai application and start the application so here you can see that my application started so what i'll do i'll go to browser again and i'll go to localhost prompt and in the message i want to add hello who are you okay and i got some errors let me see what is the error great i did a small mistake here what i did is i didn't add auto wired okay because i need to tell spring that from where i need to get it so let me just restart my application okay my application is restarted so let's go back and let's hit it again and here you can see that we got the response hello i am a language model ai designed to assist with answering questions and engaging in conversations how can i help you today i can tell that tell me a joke sure here's one for you why did the scarecrow win an award because he was outstanding in his field so yeah you can see that we are able to connect to the open ai model that is a chat gpt model and based on its key and model that we defined we are able to connect to it so you can see how easy it was to connect to chat gpt using the spring ai so here we have added just the call method over here this one we have used what we can do is we can also explore this call method where we are taking the prompt so what we'll do is in the next video we're going to explore more about how we can use the prompt class and how we can create our different prompts and how we can optimize our prompt engineering to get the maximum out of our ai model so this was all about the quick introduction of the spring ai and how we can use it and how we can create a spring boot application with the help of Spring AIs and the different models that we want to use. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. In the next video, we are going to explore more about this prompt class and how we can create the prompt and how we can call the Spring AI models. So till then, happy coding. Bye-bye.